This is Twit. Ken Longbeach, Leo Laporte, the tech guy. Yeah, hi, Leo. How are you? I'm well. How are you? I'm doing pretty good, thanks. Uh, listen, I've, uh, I've got a question uh, regarding uh, a store that carries all sorts of brands and makes and models of uh, desktop printers because I'm looking for one. Mm-hmm. I was a service engineer for Xerox for 31 years, so I understand the spec sheets. And after I picked out the particular printers I was interested in getting, uh, I then went back to that store and was uh, starting to look into the ink and so on. And uh, one of my concerns came as a result of some information that was given to me by one of the people there. I've been in there so much in the past week that they've come to know me. <laughs> That's why I don't want to give you the name of the you're store. One, you're one of those that haunts the store. Oh, you're, oh, you're back. Oh, nice to see you, Ken. You going to buy someday, Ken? <laughs> No, they're they're very good. Good, they ought to be. You know, if you want to survive as a brick-and-mortar store, you know, somebody can always buy on Amazon for less. You survive by being a service, giving great service. Uh, That's right, that's right. I uh, was a Xerox engineer for uh, 31 years in the field, so uh, I know all about that. Yep, it's all about service. Yeah. When I went back to start looking for ink, okay, um, the problem is, well, I... He came pretty well known at the store. You're, that's right. And one of the gentlemen there told me something about their printers uh, because I was asking about various things about the ink. I want to be able to refill my tanks. <laughs> he told me that all of the printers that they sell in that store, every one of them, have a chip in them now that the manufacturers have installed to recognize if a tank has been refilled. Oh, and I... It has, <laughs> Hold on a second. We're going to take a break. It has, it, this is not conspiracy theory. This is true, and we'll talk I about it know. when we come back. Leo Laporte, the tech guy. Ken, it's, it's absolutely true, and the reason uh, that many uh, printer manufacturers put uh, chips in is so that you won't use third-party cartridges, right? So, and I think this is wrong, but they do it anyway. They, uh, and, and the reason is the printers are like 50 bucks in many cases, the inkjet printers. And the ink is how they make all their money. It's the old give away the razor, sell the blade strategy. And so many people were using third-party cartridges that they started putting a chip in the cartridges, a chip which is patented and cannot be duplicated, that communicates with the printer. The printer says, yes, this is an original equipment, genuine manufacturer part, and we'll continue to print. There's another side effect of this, though. These, these ink cartridges also know when they're out of ink and in some cases but not all uh once out of ink they don't you could put more ink in they still add ink they they don't they say we're done now the manufacturers will say well we do this for a couple of reasons first of all third-party cartridges we don't know remanufactured cartridges we can't stand by them they might spray ink all over your printer, all over your paper, and then you get mad at us. It is also the case in many cases, many printers that the head is replaced along with the ink. And you need a new cartridge because you're going to get a new print head as well as more ink. And so injecting ink into that doesn't refresh the head and so is going to give you bad results. So that's their rationale. Of course, people want to use third-party cartridges and add ink because it's so expensive. Um, but you can you can absolutely reset these cartridges. There are ways around it to do it if you're really cheap. I don't personally recommend refilling ink cartridges. Um, there's a company that does this that tried very hard to advertise in the show, and I said no because I I don't believe in it. it it's messy. <laughs> it's difficult, um, and I just I think it's a bad idea. And it's interesting that they that they have really tried to prevent people from doing this. So not all do. I'm told that, for instance, some printers like Epson printers you can add ink to. I wouldn't recommend it, but you could. Um, it is not. I don't think it's illegal for them to do this, but I, I do believe they do it, and it's annoying. Um, it's basically a copy protection scheme.